So hey everyone, I'm Sudama, the founder of Track, and we're building the fastest, most elegant calendar experience ever made. The problem is clear, calendars aren't designed for the people who live by them. They're slow, cluttered, and unintuitive. So meet Sage, he's a doctor and aspiring entrepreneur and uses superhuman. And so Sage put this post on LinkedIn recently where he said he's moving to India and would love to collaborate with people in healthcare. And in response to the post, he got over 100 people reach out to Sage and not just from India. This means he has to schedule tens of calls and share his availability with people across several different time zones very efficiently. Fortunately, his friend had got him onto track when he told Sage it's like superhuman for calendar. So when Sage needs to share his availability with Anjana in India, he opens up track and adds IST times to his view. Then using natural language specifies the conference type, the days and times he's available. And continues using the keyboard to add Anjana's information so she doesn't need to take the effort. Track then creates a message which is customized to our time zone and is personalized and customizable as well. So when Anjana opens the link, she can match with the calendar or just browse a few slots and pick one and then book the call in two clicks. Not just that, before Track, finding a time with his teammates meant navigating this maze. But thanks to Track, he can collaborate with his teammates in a fast, efficient, and fun way. Track just shows the times that's available for everyone, and he can book the call in a few clicks. It's fast and fun. In terms of booking a recurring Zoom call with Matt, who's a scientist, he can just specify in natural language how often the event should occur, add a few more details, and book the call in seven seconds. Sage loves Track. It has dramatically changed how he uses the calendar. He can't go back to point and click calendars anymore and would be really disappointed if it stopped to exist. Our business model is really simple. It's a one-week free trial with a $10 subscription after that. And by Q2 next year, we plan to open up to the enterprise at $150 a year. What's really rewarding in terms of signs of early product market fit is to see users like Ryan, who used the app on 94% of the days since he was onboarded more than eight months ago and perform core actions multiple times a day. In terms of competition, we worked really hard to build the fastest uh, calendar from the ground up and are extremely strong with the NLP. Our goal is to get to 11,700 customers by next year with plans to release our iPhone app, add team features, and increase have an Outlook integration along the way. To get to 100 million ARR by 2027, we're targeting 550,000 prosumers and 2,500 enterprise customers. I'm a second time technical founder with over a decade of experience in technology and product building. And we have a small global and capital efficient team. And we've been living and breathing calendars and scheduling since 2019 when we built an app called Check and Call, which was a peer to peer app for scheduling or with your mobile phone. Also, as our gesture of gratitude for, uh, for to launch and to everyone who's attending as part of the syndicate and the investors, we are offering a lifetime deal for you know, just $75 just for the next 72 hours. You can sign up at the trackapp.com. Thanks so much for listening. We are track and building the fastest calendar experience ever made. All right. Well done, Sudama. Nicely done. Okay, David. David Wu, you're up next, please. Question for Sudama. I saw you went um, kind of quickly through that slide, but as you go from prosumer to enterprise, how do you think about your feature set and which market you're, you're spending more time catering towards? All right. Thanks, David. Diana. Yeah. Um, my question is, even if it is a better tool, how do you get people to convert? So much of work tools are you know, around the inheritance of the tools of that organization. And then my second question is around what tools are you integrating with? And then the third is what does onboarding look like um, for both individuals and organizations? All right, thank you, Diana. Jeff? Yeah, I think I'd double down on kind of the prosumer to teams question, and then um, just add on kind of um, a view on competition. There's a lot of superhuman for X calendar, apps right now. Um, so I'm just curious how you, how you view those. All right, great. And John? I think Diana's questions covered most of mine. Okay, cool. Uh, let's grab one from the syndicate. Alice is asking, what is the level of integration with MS Outlook? Okay, you want to tackle those, Sudama? You got two minutes. Yeah, sure. Thanks so much for the questions, everyone. David, you asked about you know, the prosumer to the enterprise and how do you pick a market? The way we look at it is, Right now, we've been getting a lot of interest from the prosumer, but this naturally, uh, you know, the use cases as we build some of the team collaborative features extends naturally to small teams, especially, uh, you know, sort of small teams which are working globally or uh, client facing for that matter. And then the step up from that would be to take it to the enterprise with some of the team collaboration features as well. Uh, Diana and John, I think you both asked about 
you know, how do you get people to, uh, you know, convert essentially uh, like this onboarding process, we are doing that as well right now. We see uh, a lot of stickiness coming from that, uh, you know, as you can, uh, you know, as I shared on the slide as well, some of them using for a few months and like a very high percentage of days, even including on the weekends. Uh, in terms of integration um, and onboarding, uh, so in terms of integration, we have a Zoom integration right now. We are looking to integrate with Outlook very soon. We already prototyped it. Uh, we have a mobile app, which is pretty powerful as well, which is kind of agnostic to the communication layer. Uh, and in terms of onboarding, we do 30 minute onboarding, uh, similar to Superhuman right now, but you know, we are keeping an open mind to other ways to make it easier for people to do things like self-serve, for example. Uh, Jeff, in terms of prosumers to team, I think I, think I uh, did hint upon that as well. Uh, we do see a strong stickiness now and and uh, you know we are building some team related features so we are seeing like founders uh, trying to use it internally and then we'll extend it to uh, more enterprise use cases in terms of competition i think the one thing uh, we feel we do really well is to systematically uh, address the three key challenges that you know people with calendars have uh, people using calendars have is that they're slow cluttered and unintuitive uh, and you know the surface area for the calendar is massive so it comes down to how you actually uh, you know, sort of build out from the feature set, but paying attention to every detail matters as well. Uh, I guess that's all I have question time for, but would love to answer uh, more questions later.